Now let's set the record straight. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war, but there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace, and you can have it in the next second. Surrender. Admittedly, there's a risk in any course we follow other than this, but every lesson of history tells us that the greater risk lies in appeasement. And this is the specter our well-meaning liberal friends refuse to face, that their policy of accommodation is appeasement. And it gives no choice between peace and war, only between fight or surrender. If we continue to accommodate, continue to back and retreat, eventually we have to face the final demand, the ultimatum. And what then? Well, Nikita Khrushchev has told his people he knows what our answer will be. He has told them that we are retreating under the pressure of the Cold War and someday when the time comes to deliver the final ultimatum, our surrender will be voluntary because by that time we will have been weakened from within spiritually, morally and economically. He believes this because from our side he's heard voices pleading for peace at any price or better rev than dead. Or as one commentator put it, he'd rather live on his knees than die on his feet. And therein lies the road to war, because those voices don't speak for the rest of us. You and I know and do not believe that life is so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery. If nothing in life is worth dying for, when did this begin? Just in the face of this enemy? Or should Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the pharaohs? Should Christ have refused the cross? Should the patriots at Concord Bridge have thrown down their guns and refused to fire the shot heard round the world? The martyrs of history were not fools. And our honored dead, who gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis, didn't die in vain. Where then is the road to peace? Well, it's a simple answer after all. You and I have the courage to say to our enemies, there is a price we will not pay. There is a point beyond which they must not advance. Winston Churchill said the destiny of man is not measured by material computations. When great forces are on the move in the world, we learn we're spirits, not animals. And he said there's something going on in time and space and beyond time and space, which whether we like it or not, spells duty. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. Just that head kick. Wow, how good is this? Tommy, you ready? You ready? Let's go to war! Oh my they come god! Out swinging. Oh my god! What an unbelievable start! It's using the uppercuts! Sanchez with a huge flurry of belly! I'll tell you one thing, Sanchez looks much better. Oh, and he hit him with a knee and a big oh, punch! Big shots! Shogun's in Shogun's big trouble! Shogun's covering up! He's standing right in front of him! Henderson! Energy did Miller. Wow, he's coming at it again. Oh my God! Big shots by Miller. Dirty boxing here. He's hurt. Look. Really pursuing and backing Vanderlei Silva up. Looked like it was. TJ is constantly switching stances. Oh, big right. There's a good, good left. straight left. The body. Vicious swing punch. early. Oh. that work the body. Oh, they Diego can reckless oh. abandon. And the round's gonna conclude with a flurry. What? Shogun trying to finish it here. Henderson looking to survive. Joe Lozak dropping down for a heel hook. And that's what I was talking about, about his ability to dive on things. He trying to load up that right hand. Oh, great cut. Again, left hook to the body by Pham and a nice uppercut as well. Tough going off speed and then throwing the big, that is nasty. Oh, not so hard. And again he connects. Garcia swinging for the finish. Oh, man. Probably, oh, blocked that, but oh, he might have hurt him. Yeah, he's thunder. staggered. Rory closing in now. Robbie staggered by he's that hurt. kick. He's hurt. He's elbow. 20 seconds. McDonald pouring it on. There's that head kick again. Kick. Robbie's, Robbie's in trouble. Up. He is in trouble. That front and kick. What a combination. Nice oh. elbows. McDonald with a knee. Looking to finish it right here. And become the. Lands it. He's hurt. He's hurt. This may be it. 
That's it. That same fighter's oh! Big knockout for Cody. There's the understand why. Oh! thing has not just been the striking of Gustafson, but his ability to stuff the takedown. Yep, in that slip and count a moment left. ago. Again. And right. Again. And a nice elbow. Caught him. Oh, that might have hurt him. Yeah, that did. Jones with a big a vicious knee. knee. And a vicious elbow. And stays at his Again with a big elbow. Watch the clock closely. Oh! Humongous. Man, the accuracy of Mark Hunt. He shot here at Mark Hunt. Not responding back. Mark Hunt trying to finish it in the fifth round. Another short elbow from Mark Hunt. Now a body shot. Big foot. Sh Couple uppercuts landing on the inside for Stan. Down goes Vanderlei. And Vanderlei says, bring it. And they're slugging away. Silva goes down again. Vanderlei Silva. Huge nice shot in from Vanderlei Silva. He's hurt. in trouble. Oh, Silva has done it! Silva has done it! What a tremendous fight! Brian oh, Stan seemed like he was in control. Oh. And